my crash, I'm really suffering. I just uh, find it hard to, to get the power down and I just couldn't come off his wheel. I came out to the side, but uh, I had to go back and then I even got passed by a few on the line. How much more difficult is it? You saw Cervello with two guys up there, HTC Columbia with two guys up there. You're, out, you're up there on your own. Well, both those teams are doing lead outs, but they went from really, really far with their last guys. And uh, Pataki saw that and he jumped them. It gave me an ideal opportunity, but uh, I wasn't strong enough to take advantage of it and come out his wheel, and I faded. Do you think in the next couple of days your injuries might start getting better and then start finding the legs again? Well, I hope so. I, mean, I was really, really suffering today, not just with the elbow, but with my right leg, my hip, my adductors, and uh, yeah, I felt that when I was trying to sprint. I just couldn't get full power, but uh, yeah, we'll try again tomorrow. You're not giving up either? No, no, no way. Yeah, you can put a call in the victim, mate. Hey, put you back in line again. Nice yeah, I'm not suffering bad. Yeah. I just didn't have the power to perfect opportunity then. I was in the wheel of Pataki, took me all the way, but I tried to come off him, but got next to him, that was it. Went backwards and I even lost a few places on the line. It's just empty. Mark, uh, you had to hit the front a bit earlier today, mate. Yeah, it, was, it didn't really work out too well today. Uh, I was hit the front a little bit early. Um, but, you know, as I just said to the French TV then, we're missing, uh, you know, Adam Hansen and Michael Rogers in the lead out. They're two guys with a lot of horsepower. Michael's got other objectives and, you know, Adam's got to watch from the couch. So, you know, it hasn't gone to plan yet, but I'm sure that Mark will win a stage. Uh, I'm 100% sure. He's got the legs. He's mentally strong enough. So, uh, and with the team behind him, like myself, Eisel, you know, Tony Martin, we've got a great team, so there's no reason. And, uh, the other point was, it's, it's not us that have taken a step back, it's the other teams that have taken a step up. You know, uh, Pataki's came here with two strong guys, Lorenzetto and Hondo, who are, you know, they're both good sprinters in themselves. So, you know, the, we don't have it as easy as what we did last year, but I'm sure we're going to win a stage. And Pataki went very early as well. Yeah, Pataki got a great run there, um, from what I saw. You know, I got caught on the front a long way out, and uh, I tried to keep lifting the speed, but uh, it just wasn't possible, so... Hopefully we can win one. Mark, was it a clean sprint? Uh, I think this year's Tour de France is uh, a little bit more dangerous than previous years. Um, just with the stress from the last few days, uh, everyone's nervous. Uh, today was a lot better than the last two days. It was uh, a reasonably fair sprint, but you know now there's, there's three or four teams that want to be at the front. And we've all got the directors saying the exact same thing to us in the earpiece. So, uh, you know, of course it's going to be dangerous out there. It's, it's what we do for a living. But I think generally the, the sprints have been pretty good. You and Brett Lancaster were on the front, a couple of Aussies driving. Yeah, that was pretty ironic. Uh, first it was Luke Roberts Lee in front of me and then uh, I was next to Brett Lancaster. You know, Australians are doing a great job and we're here in numbers. Um, yeah, but for now, uh, I'm leading out Mark Cavendish. Uh, and if that means, uh, you know, racing Brett Lancaster or Luke Roberts, uh, that's what it is. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Thank you.